What is up everybody? Uh, today I wanted to make a video of everything that goes into my tech case as a drum tech. I just got off of a tour just a couple days ago. It was about five and a half weeks. And uh, here's everything I brought with me and that got me through and some extra things, you know, you could consider overkill, but that actually really came in handy. The case itself was just a regular Pelican 1510, the desert tan color or whatever. Uh, I was rocking an SKB style 1510 on the tour, but I just got this recently. Uh, reason I switched over was because of the mechanism on the SKB. There was a little slide latch that you had to get the handle up, and nobody ever knew where to find that, except for me, when loading up the trailer or hands trying to help or whatever. So I just decided to make things a little bit easier by just getting the Pelican with the just little flipper guy to lift up. But in here, we'll kick things off just with the lid organizer. Uh, the fun stuff first is just the tape, uh, spike tape, E-tape, and then I also keep inside some clear hockey tape for taping down uh, labels onto uh, cable connectors and things like that. Uh, just a little bit easier to take off and put on uh, than just like clear masking tape or packing tape or whatever. And the next pouch is just uh, one of my personal microphones uh, that we actually used on this tour, which was just the SE BL8 uh, boundary mic for kick in. Uh, huge fan of this mic. Uh, honestly, I think you could just use this on its own. Uh, not that that's really ideal, but in a situation like that, you could. It's got character switch on the back for modern or classic, a pad at a 10 or a negative 20 dB, then a low cut at 80 or 160. Super, super solid. Uh, love this mic so much. I'm a huge fan of SE and just kind of seems like more and more people are trending towards them for live sound, which is awesome. In here also, in this pocket, it's just some rock locks in case we have a uh, tension rod slipping up. Uh, some drum keys in here, can never have enough. Uh, this is the drum key that I keep on the drummer's uh, kit with him during the show. It's the Evans Magnetic one, and I like it because it doesn't rattle around all too much. Uh, in case he just needs to, you know, tighten something up on the snare drum if, in case it's slipping or whatever. Um, love that drum key. Below that is just EDC stuff, Black Diamond Headlamp, the uh, Storm. Uh, this one's just got a couple different functions on it, the uh, spot, flood, and then red light, but I believe it also has a green light and blue light on it too, which is awesome. A couple extra flashlights in here, little Milwaukee flashlight, and then just a tiny mini coast light, which I like because it is very bright. Uh, both of these just take triple A's, just one in there and then two in this guy. I don't like rechargeable ones. It's just whenever you need a flashlight and it's dead, okay, I can just swap batteries into that rather than having to wait for it to charge. Clever Cutter. Uh, this is normally on my keychain. This is just for ripping down looms and e-tape off of things. Put the little heat shrink on there uh, just for travel traveling inside of this so it doesn't cut the mesh. And then Gerber Pry Brid. Utility knife, just super slim, easy to keep in your pocket. Threw a little lanyard on there so you can take it out very nice and easy. And then just some writing utensils, some pens, Sharpies, big Sharpies, small Sharpies. Next pocket, got another utility blade, Milwaukee Fastback. And it also has the bit driver on it, Phillips on this side, and you can flip it around. It's flathead, and it's got a bottle opener on there for you, which is nice. Chapstick, uh, molded in-ear protection from Sensophonics with the uh, attenuators that you can change out. And then a backup pair of in-ears, the Shure 315s in there. I've had those for years and years and years, and now they're just retired as my backups. And this big, long pocket here, just a bundle of cables, USB, USB-C, multi-pin uh, for 
the iPod Touch that's in here. Just keep this around in case you need to do music things with it, I guess. Extra IEC. And then some uh, uh, little baggies just in case somebody drops something on the stage, you know, during changeover and we find it. I can uh, just throw that in the baggie, throw it in this case, and I know who to start looking for from one of the bands. All right, in the main bin here, little uh, quarter inch socket set, very handy. My main set of in-ears, which is the All Clear CMVKs. Love these for not only playing drums, but also monitoring uh, them as a tech because they have three bass drivers inside and then one mid and one high. So you can really quickly tell if something like a kick drum mic gets knocked out uh, of the porthole, you can just very, because there's so many drivers in there, you can very, very quickly uh, hear that and you can go run up to the stage and fix it. And then just a little dongle there and then got a backup cable and cleaning tool all inside of this little cute mini Pelican. Gloves for loading. These are, again, usually on my keychain uh, because this is packed up during load-in. Uh, very heavy duty, just don't want to get my hands all damaged. Toonbot, um, I use this for tuning the drums after the first couple days of uh, pre-production and rehearsals and after the first show or two. I'll have a conversation with front of house see how we are both liking the drums and then take note once you get the green light front of house is cool with the drum sounds the drummer's cool with the drum sounds go ahead and take notes with this and then that way kind of speeds up the tuning process and front of house can then rely on you to you know keep the same drum sounds night in night out drummer's happy you're happy it makes your life a lot easier as a drum tech uh great little tool love it Next up, just a Klein multimeter, uh, circuit tester, and then leads for the multimeter. I also do backline tucking as well, so uh, a lot of this is just extra to that as well. Uh, and here, spare parts and connectors and things like that, guitar knobs, zip ties, and zip tie anchors and nine volt batteries, blue Loctite, uh, heat shrink, small for smaller things and the big for uh, looms. And then as far as the connectors go, the cables, just some patch cables I made, uh, aux cable I made, uh, panel mount connectors, power con, XLR and quarter inch, bunch of lead, extra connectors, some Amphenol, Neutrik, little short MIDI cable, uh, just some replacement parts things if they ever fail. And, you know, some of these things are just hard to get overnighted at some point, or, you know, people don't carry them in stock locally, if at all. Uh, so I just keep them on me, even though it's not quite my world. I have a plethora of them at home, so better safe than sorry. Next up is kind of the more drum specific bag, but not too specific because I do keep anything related to kick pedals, drum specific tension rods and things of that nature. I keep that with the drummer that he will fly home with. Uh, so he has that all together because he'll have his own gigs um, or just one off shows where they don't bring a drum tech. Uh, so I keep that all in his Pelican. Same thing with the lid organizers organizer and just lay it all out for them uh after the last night of tour but porthole cutter uh misc tension rods wing nuts uh, broken dw uh handle screws springs uh just a whole heap of drum hardware parts drum dial don't use this too often but if it is noisy uh and i just need to get some even tension on a head uh always good to keep around kick patch again drummer in this band use a double kick so this is just ones that come with the evans drum heads that i just keep around a uh, bunch of cymbal felts cymbal sizzler uh drill bit drum head key again nothing too specific in here towards the drummer but just 
extra stuff if we don't have the things lying around. I have it just in my, my kind of personal lot. In here, again, like I mentioned, I do some backline uh, teching as well. Uh, like this summer, I went out for a couple weeks doing full backline. So I had some guitar stuff to bring out. Just a bunch of Music Nomad stuff. Keep them in the baggie so they don't leak all over the place. Some uh, F1 oil for fingerboards. Tune it for nuts and saddles. Uh, string fuel for strings because we were doing summer stuff uh, at amphitheaters and outside. Uh, so keep the corrosion down off the strings as much as possible. Guitar polish. This is the real one that leaks a lot. Uh, so I keep that separate from everything else. Deodario neck rest. It sucks, but it folds down really small. Uh, got a bunch of these files here. Very, very fine grit. You can see that was 3,600, and I got everything in between for polishing frets. Uh, Music Nomad Octopus. I believe that's what it's called. Caliper, string winder, center punch, extra wire, triple tap, uh, and then set of feeler gauges and a setup ruler, and then a tiny set of tweezers. That's pretty rudimentary guitar stuff. I got extra stuff laying around, but uh, this is just stuff and chemicals that if our guitar tech needs it, I have a little bit extra to hold them up for the next day or two until we can do send a runner to guitar center or something to get something and here's just hygiene stuff or more or less which is my tummy ache kit uh band-aids a bunch of tummy ache stuff and then just baby wipes for baby wiping stuff in the custom shop bag uh just tape measure just getting center on risers and things like that and here is uh, just some mic adapters, uh, mic clip adapters, and then these small rig clamps, which I'm using in lieu of LP claws, because I'm super sick of using LP claws. Uh, these things are awesome, mostly because of the clamp here can fit onto just any size drum hardware that you have, as opposed to LP claws, which are really just made to clamp onto the rims of drums, but that's not what I use them for ever. So uh, all you need to do is just get qu quarter 20 to five eighths adapters for that uh, because they're just quarter 20 as is. And then lock tight the arm to the actual base because the weight of the microphone can sometimes uh, tip it over and get it loose. But love these things. I have about six of them, I believe. And they're great for spot mics or just miking up the whole kit. I can mic up the whole kit with them just uh, except for just doing traditional overheads um, but good for spot mics too if you want to get underneath a ride or a splash cymbal or something a uh, little mini hammer use this a bunch uh, a little plastic trim pulling tool and here's all my tools again a little bit overkill but I used every single one of these on uh, this run. Mini snips for strings and smaller things, bigger snips for bigger things. A uh, pair of bolt cutters, great for, uh, you can cut down tension rods if you needed to, deeper them with a file and they're good to go. Uh, Vera screwdriver with the bits inside, like this too because this pops out and I can throw that to my drill. And it's very fun to mess around with. Klein precision, precision screwdriver. Uh, this is great just because the iFixit kits are just so kind of big. Um, you can pretty much do everything with all the bits that are inside of here. And it's just all enclosed. Knipex twin grip pliers. Uh, great if you strip uh, or break the head off of a bolt or screw. Because you can fit whatever into that jaw opening torque it down, take it out, use these a bunch. Even literally first day in pre-production, we used those for a little kick pedal issue we were having. Uh, Knipex wire strippers, and then a pair of the Knipex Cobras, just kind of the end-all, be-all channel lock style plier. Uh, in this pocket, it's just a sharp pick, 
uh, some brushes, solder sucker, and a little precision screwdriver for guitar knobs and guitar pedal knobs. On the other side here, drill, Milwaukee M12 fuel drill. It's nice to keep a high power drill with you just for uh, if you need to get into road cases and stuff and kind of do some work on that. It's an M12 battery. The Guitar Tech uses M12 stuff as well. So we just carry one charger with us, which makes life very easy. Bit case, just standard bits and nut drivers, stuff like that. Uh, distance finder, straight edge that goes into the combo square there. And then just some uh, Allen keys. These are the Icon from Harbor Freight. Uh, I like them because they're ball end and color coded. So I just kind of know what I need to grab very nice and quickly. Got those both in metric and standard. They are very heavy. Um, it's the heaviest part of that whole bag actually, but uh, I like to have the extra length of handle for a little extra torque. But that is everything in my tech case. Again, could seem like overkill to some, but First of all, it packs into here. Second of all, I used everything in here on this tour. So uh, yeah, you could say it's overkill, but you know, if you, uh, if you have it, use it, smoke them if you got them, whatever that phrase is. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on it, just comment down below. I'll be sure to get to it, but thank you for watching.